I think that one of the uh, problems that we have in, uh, in CLL is that it tends to occur in older people. And, um, and there's always the risk of having some genetic abnormality occur, which turns a relatively slow growing uh, disease into a rapidly uh, growing disease. And our treatment of uh, the Richter's transformation is pretty terrible. You know, we can get them, people into a, a reduced amount of disease to get them ready for a stem cell transplant, but uh, that's really only tolerated uh, pretty well by relatively young patients. Uh, you know, the reduced intensity transplants have helped that out. But overall, uh, unless you get to the uh, point where you can do a stem cell transplant, uh, Richter's is inevitably fatal. So it's a complication uh, that we fear because we can't deal with it. Uh, the other uh, complication that uh, we see that we can't deal with is uh, acute leukemia. And both of these tend to occur in about 5% of the, uh, the patients that get treated with the present chemoimmunotherapy program, such as the FCR. So there's been a, a tendency to try and get away from uh, the chemotherapy drugs, which damage DNA and also impair the immune system. So there's a question that's coming up is, are we going to have the same problem with targeted therapies as we have in the, uh, in the present standard uh, therapy with the FCR? So that's what I have to address.